so i'm not able to hear you okay. regarding the bearings first of all it is a measure of direction so point number 1 to be noted is it is a measure of direction is my voice clear yeah it's clear and the screen is visible yep second important point is north is always taken as the reference okay and when we are moving we always move in the clockwise direction these three points are clear yes sir i'll give you one example let's say there is a person who is standing at point a so when we are standing we can look in any direction yes or no yeah yeah but when we are talking about bearings we always look in the direction of tell me we look in the direction of uh, north no very good so we always look in the direction of north and in notebooks okay. we refer the north in the upper top side yeah okay okay so we all know in ews news this is the these are the four directions so we always start referring to north we start from the north side and suppose this person a now want to look at the person b and who is standing on this side he want to look this direction okay so he cannot move in this direction if he has he, if he have to move towards b he will have to move clockwise is that thing clear yeah got it i hope it is clear so that's why bearing topic is very very important so where do we use bearings bearing is used mostly in airlines uh, when we are flying planes so when the two people communicate with each other they communicate in terms of bearings they do not say 40 degree so if the person is saying 40 degree it is understood that the they are talking about bearing 40 degree is that thing clear yes yeah. now important point bearing is always written in three figures like if i have to say 40 degree this is a wrong way we say 040 like we write 040 okay so it means that uh, 40 degree okay because why is it so because there is a 360 degree circle so when we are talking in terms of bearings we do not say uh, north east south west those were the ways um, we used to learn earlier no suppose a person is want to go in this direction okay so normally we used to say the person is traveling 45 degree north uh, south southwest isn't it do you remember yes so 45 degree means middle but if i'm talking from bearing perspective they will not be saying southwest or something like that so we will be saying this is 90 degree this is 90 degree and this is 45 degree so if i add all of them what will be the answer 180 and 225 so we will be saying the person is traveling 225 bearings okay is this thing clear yeah got it so giving you uh, one minute to copy this thing in a notebook quickly some of the important things which you should understand 
So suppose this is point A and the person is going towards point B. So always remember that at every point there is a north. So this is a north for A and this is a north for B. Understood? Yes. So can you guess what will be the angle of A to B? What will be the angle of A to B? Uh, is it, is it um, 45? Are, 45? How 45? 45 is an acute angle. This guesswork should be very clear. This is 90. And this should be more than 90. So 45 plus, you can add 45 to it. So let's say it is 135 degrees. Okay. So just know this uh, thing should be very much clear. This is 90 degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. From here to here, again it is 90. Mm -hmm. Once again 90 and again 90. Is that thing clear? Yes. Now try to understand this thing. This portion is 90. So obviously from A to B it should be more than 90. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now we got the answer. Obviously the value would be given. Right now, we were just estimating. A to B is 135 degree variance. My question is, what is B to A? Now, first of all, we need to understand what is the bearing? Is it this part bearing or this part bearing? Tell me, A or B? Uh, the, the second one. Which B. one? A B. Very good. So, we need to find out this particular part. Understood? B to A. Now, over here, one important thing is, between any two points, when we draw bearings, it's actually parallel lines. And when we have parallel line, these two angles are always add up to 180 degrees by co-interior angle property. Okay. Yeah. So, because of this reason, I can find out this particular angle. Can you tell me what will be the value of this angle? Oh, sir, which one are you talking about? 180 degree. Yeah, I'm talking about this particular red color angle. Okay. Uh, that will be less than 90, right? Better. This is, sum is 180 degree. So, this would be 180 minus 135. Okay. That would be 45 degree. Is this thing clear? No. Is this thing clear? Yeah, yeah, got it. Now, bearings. Now, bearing would be 360 degree because this full circle is happening. 360 degree minus 45 degree. Okay. So, it would be 315 degree. So, this particular angle is 315 degrees. Done? Okay. Yeah. Quickly copy this thing. This is a very important concept. I'll give you two questions based on this thing. Okay. Right. Now. So, these two questions. Uh, first question. What do you think? X to Y. 
So x to y, we are going in this direction. So first of all, if we are going from x to y, so we'll draw north on x and we are going towards y. So what do you think? This is a kind of a estimation. What would be the answer? Quickly tell me. Uh, so I think it would be 225. Yeah, 225. Because this is 180 degree and 180 degree plus 45. So we can say 225. Very good. So obviously this angle will be given to you, but you can get it. Mm -hmm. So y to x. Oh, y to so x. Y to x. We need to find this angle. Mm -hmm. So there is a shortcut. Okay. Okay. So first of all, uh, how did you do that? Can you tell me quickly? Uh, which one, sir? The x to y one. Y to x. Okay, y to x. Uh, I I think it will be three sixty minus two twenty five. Three sixty minus two twenty five. No. Is it forty five degrees on this forty five? Yes, it will be forty five degree. So first of all, um, uh, I'll give you a shortcut by visualizing. Also, I can see it's a smaller angle, so. It will be 225 minus 180. Okay, that's a shortcut method. If you want to do it a normal way, what you can do, you can first of all find this angle. This is 225. This particular angle would be 360 minus 225. Whatever the answer is, this would be 180 minus that. So over okay. here, uh, it will be 100 and, uh, 135. So 135, 180 minus 135 would be 